Get your 200th episode Bicentennial Long Tee this week. And I got to thank the designer, Alicia Cole, for a great design of the logo. Thank you, Alicia. Just in time for fall, uh, it's at castropolis.net. Look for the details. Uh, you know, we don't take a lot of advertising money because we want to keep the message pure. We want to deliver it the way it should be delivered. Uh, so this is a fun way and a sporty way to support the podcast. And we just appreciate you guys. Thank you so much, man. 200 episodes. A lot of you have been here since the beginning. Um, a lot of you have found us along the way, and we just appreciate it. Thank you so much. Go to castropolis.net and order your limited edition Bicentennial shirt today. This is the G-Podcast Daily. Today is Wednesday, November 15th. It's Wisdom Wednesday, and this is the G-Podcast Daily. Five minutes of news and knowledge to get you through your day. Let's get it. Start the clock. And on this day, in 1969, the Amistad Research Center was incorporated as an independent archive and research center. In 1976, following pressure to admit Reverend Clinton King, President Jimmy Carter's Plains Baptist Church voted to admit black worshipers. And in 1989, President George Bush signed a bill to rename the Houston, Texas Federal Building after George Thomas Mickey Leland, a Houston congressman who died in a plane crash earlier in the year. Here's news from UNN with Alexander Caden. This is UNN, Urban Network News, national news and information for one of our people of color. I'm Alexander Caden. <laughs> An emerging cure for sickle cell is on its way to FDA approval, but it could carry a hefty price tag. The new prospective care for sickle cell, which is statistically most present in black folk, has advanced further along, making its way closer to market. Researchers say the cure will utilize gene editing, a fairly new type of genetic engineering that was first used for human treatment in 2015. It's all about the ladies as far as the Grammys are concerned this year. The Recording Academy unveiled the nominees for the 2024 Grammy Awards with women outperforming their male counterparts in all of the leading categories. The Supreme Court is adopting its first code of ethics in the face of sustained criticism over undisclosed trips and gifts from wealthy benefactors to some justices. A new report from the Department of Defense has revealed that at least 245 military bases in the United States have been leaking toxic chemicals into the drinking water of nearby communities, putting an unknown number of people at risk. In HBCU sports, Virginia Union won their first CIAA championship in 22 years by defeating Fayetteville State 21-10. Four-time Grand Slam singles champion Naomi Osaka will make her comeback to tennis at the Brisbane International Warm-Up Tournament ahead of the Australian Open. If you have diabetes, then you know the pain and trouble of pricking your finger. But you can stop that. Just visit our website at myunn.net for more information. That's myunn.net. Walmart, Costco, Wegmans, and other store chains may remove their self-checkouts and go back to more cashiers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You've been listening to UNN. For more national news and information for and about people of color, visit our website at myunn.net. Episode 201, Rap Lyrics on Trial, is available now. Subscribe on your favorite podcast app or just go to castropolis.net. Your G-Clip of the day. Prosecutors have been trying for years to get rap lyrics uh, entered into different uh, testimonies when it, or getting, get, uh, having different rap lyrics entered into evidence you know, to use against someone, um, a, a defendant. Um, so I find it, you know, it's, it's, it's never been done before. And I'm glad that the judge, you know, kind of stipu put some kinds of stipulations on it, mm -hmm. you know, in order to not let this just go anywhere. Listen to this is the G podcast and subscribe all links at castropolis.net. It's Wisdom Wednesday, the BJ Murphy radio show. You know, one of the things I, Sean, in my radio career that I didn't do that I regret was having like multiple streams of income, right? Because I used to have friends to tell me, all right, you better have something to fall back on when you, when you know, the job, they pulled the rug from under you. 
And I was like, nah, man, I'm good. You know, I'm always going to I'm always going to be doing right, doing what, what I'm doing. Pull all the jobs you got Woo. from you at the same time. You should have multiple streams of income because when they pull one, you got other streams. They say you should have seven streams of money okay, coming so in. Okay, name the streams that a person could have at one time. Okay, so you can have your regular job. Mm-hmm. Then you can have a part-time job. Then you can have okay. something that you do personally on the side for yourself. Mm-hmm. And then you could outsource your talent. You might make websites. You might babysit. You know, it's a whole lot of things that you can do as a side hustle. That's what it's called. Like People have side hustles and stuff that add up to maybe paying the light bill or paying the car payment or paying the rent or mortgage. Mm-hmm. When do you get to be a human being? Because (laughs) you're describing everything a robot does. The BJ Murphy Radio Show. Thanks for stopping by. This has been This is the G Podcast Daily. News and knowledge you need to get you through your Wisdom Wednesday, November 15th, 2023. Enjoy your day. You've been listening to This is the G Podcast. And This is the G Podcast is a production of the Castropolis Podcast Network. Thanks for listening. 